Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the third episode in this series on how to create the Space Invaders game using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, up until this point, we've already made some nice progress. We have our spaceship in our game window, and you'll notice that the spaceship does not go off screen since we've bounded the movement of the spaceship. And we've also implemented a shooting mechanic. Now, in this video, I want to do two things. The first thing I want to do is I want to add a cooldown to the shooting, because if I keep the spacebar pressed, then uh, the spaceship will shoot without an interruption, which is not what we want. And the second thing I want to do is I want to delete the bullets once they go off screen. Now, let me quickly show you what I mean by that. So over here, we have the code. Um, so I've just opened up the um, uh, inspect window on our browser. And whenever I press um, the uh, space bar and create a bullet, a new laser is created. And all these elements that you can see over here um, are the individual bullets flying across our screen. Now, um, you'll see that over here on the right hand side, it uh, tells you the coordinates of the bullet. And you can see that all these bullets that I've just created, they're still there. And they're taking up memory and making our game slow if we create too many of these bullets. So whenever you know I, I create many bullets, the list gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And we don't want that. We want to delete the bullets once they go off screen. So the first thing we're going to take care of is the bullet cooldown. It is very simple to implement. Let's open up our main.js file. And in the constant state, we're going to add a new value, which is cooldown. And we're going to make it equal to zero. Um, now we make this equal to zero because by default, when we open the game, we want the player to be able to shoot imme immediately without having to wait. So now we need to go down to our update player function. And you'll remember from last time, we implemented this line of code over here. And this line of code simply states that if the state.shoot um, value is true, so if we're pressing the space bar, then we want to create a laser. So we have to modify this now because we're adding a new condition. Whenever we press the space bar and the cooldown um, is equal to zero, then we want to create a laser. And once the laser is created, we want to up the cooldown and we want to set the state.cooldown back to 30. Now we need to decrement this cooldown value after the laser is shot. And we do this a bit further below. We're going to state that if the state.cooldown is greater than zero, then we want to decrement the cooldown by 0 0.5 every time the update player function is called. So we're going to say state dot cooldown minus equals 0 0.5. All right, so now we can't forget to save this. And if we go ahead and run this in our browser again, you can see that if I'm holding the space bar uh, pressed the entire time, the number of bullets is limited. And just to prove to you guys that this really does work, I am going to log in the console, console.log the um, state cooldown. And let's go ahead and run this again. And I'm going to inspect this element and open up the console. You'll see that right now, um, over here, it says zero. Uh, it's counting these zeros. And that is because the console is logging the cooldown, which is at the moment set to zero. Now watch what happens when I 
um, press the space bar. If I press the space bar, you'll see that the um, cooldown is set to the value of 30 and it gets decremented over to zero again. Now, if I try and hold down the space bar, you can see that it always decrements um, down to zero and then it lets me shoot again. So now we have the cooldown implemented. But the issue that remains is that even though the bullets are off of our screen, they are still existent within our code. Uh, you can see this right over here. Even though the bullets don't show on screen anymore, the elements are still included here and their value is still decreasing as they move further and further away from us. Let me just quickly show you. I'm going to press the space bar a couple more times and you'll notice this list of lasers get longer and longer and the lasers just do not get deleted. Now we're going to take care of that right now. The way we do that is we're going to go down to the update lasers function over here. And we're going to say that if the uh, laser position, so if laser dot y, the y position is smaller than zero. So when it reaches the very top, so if it's smaller than zero, we want to delete the laser and we're going to create this function in just a moment and this function is going to take three parameters the first parameter it's going to take is going to take the list of lasers then it is going to take the laser that we want to delete and it's going to also take the dom element so the element we're displaying in our web browser which is going to be laser dot laser. And we can't forget the semicolon. Now let's go ahead uh, and over head on over to the general functions over here. And over here, we're going to create the function that we just created a call to. So function delete laser. And this function is going to make sure that the laser is not only deleted out of the lasers array in the state constant, it is also going to delete the laser from our DOM. So if we save this now and run this in our browser again, let's go ahead and press inspect. Now you'll notice something interesting. When I go ahead and create a bullet, you can see right here that it is created. And once it goes off screen, it disappears again. So let me do this a couple of times just to demonstrate this. On the right hand side, you can see these elements and now they gradually all go and get deleted. So we're deleting the bullets once they fly off screen. All right, so that's it for this episode. And in the next episode, we're going to add the enemies to the game.